South Florida celebrates Juneteenth, a day where slaves in Texas finally learned they were free. There are calls to rename the city of Plantation and the name of the county it sits on, Broward County. Some argue the names stir up painful reminders of racism and slavery. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Jackie Nesbrow. And I'm Juan Strader. Good evening. NBC6 reporter Amanda Placencia has more on the history of these names. She's live in Lauderhill at a celebration of the Juneteenth holiday. Amanda. Yes, Juwan, and as there have been calls to change the names of cities and counties uh, that have been associated with a racist past, there's also been many Juneteenth demonstrations all across South Florida. As you said, we are actually at one of those celebrations right now. This is a family day here at the new Al Kevalon Education Center in Lauderdale Hill, and they're focused on educating African Americans, and they hope to remember the occasion commemorating the emancipation of slaves in Texas two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, and these demonstrations just hoping to so keep pushing forward for more change. In the last few weeks since George Floyd's death sparked a renewed Black Lives Matter movement, there have been specific attempts towards progress against intolerance. Recently, a petition was created to change the name of Broward County, and it has over 2,000 signatures so far. The next logical step would be to go ahead and rename the county uh, for something that more reflects modern day Broward County, which is really diverse and vibrant. Kyle Hill started the petition. Napoleon Bonaparte Broward was the 19th governor of Florida, but Hill says there are records that show he was a racist segregationist who also drained the Everglades. The controversy evident when his statue was removed from the county courthouse back in 2017. It's basically like racial wallpaper, and when you see those names or those symbols and things, it just kind of reminds you every day of the negative racial history that we have here in this country. And again, I think my ultimate goal is that the state of Florida Florida and really the country as a whole would adopt a zero tolerance policy to racism. He'll acknowledge that rebranding would face some challenges, but he says he doesn't want a racist past to define Broward County's present and future. Another petition that is gaining traction online is targeted at the city of Plantation. The word plantation just no longer serves us as a city. Daryl Augusti calling for the name change, seeing if decision makers will listen. It's just an ugly word that word that stirs up memories and just brings people immediately to slavery. Like we just need to keep striking these people, um, you know, from the books and stop glorifying them by, by naming things after them. There's so many wonderful, beautiful people that has been alive since then that we can easily replace these things with. And this has been a big and major topic on social media as some who are opposed to the name changes say that it will be too expensive and that you can't change the past. Meanwhile, the Broward County Mayor and Commissioners are aware of these petitions and it could possibly discuss in official meetings in the future. Live in Lauder Hill, Amanda Placencia, NBC6 News. Um,